Okay, uh, so this is the second lecture about these pictures in the phase plane, that's with axes y and y prime, for a second order constant coefficient linear under good problem, good problem. And you remember that we study that equation by looking for special solutions y equals e to the st. When we plug that into the equation, we get this simple quadratic equation, and everything depends on that. So today, this video is about the case when the roots are complex. Do you remember? So the roots, complex roots, you have a real part plus or minus an imaginary part. And this happens when b squared is smaller than 4ac. Because you remember there's a square root in the, in the formula for the solution of a quadratic equation. There's a square root of b squared minus 4ac, the usual formula from school. And if b squared is smaller, we have a negative number under the square root, and we get complex roots. So last time, the roots were real. The pictures in the phase planes set off to infinity or came into zero, uh, more or less almost on straight lines. Now we're going to have curves and spirals because of the complex part. So here are the three possibilities now. We had three last time. Here, here are the other three with complex roots. So the complex, the, the real part, everything depends on this real part, the, the stability going in, going out, staying on a circle, uh, depends on that real part. If the real part is positive, then we go out. We have an exponential e to the a plus i omega t. And if a is positive, that e to the a t would blow up. Unstable. So that's unstable. Here's a center. When a is zero, then we just have e to the i omega t. I'll, that's the nicest example. I do that one first. So in that case, we're just going around in a circle or around in an ellipse. And finally, the physical problem where we have damping, but not too much damping, so the roots are still complex, but they're going in because if a is negative, e to the a t is going to zero. So that's a stable case. That's, that's the physical case. We hope to have a little damping in our system and be stable. This one, we could say neutrally stable. This one is certainly unstable. Let me take, uh, start with that, the neutrally stable. So, because that's the most famous equation in second order equation in mechanics. It's pure oscillation, a spring going up and down, an LC circuit going back and forth, pure oscillation, and we see the solutions. So I've written, I've taken uh, this, this particular equation. You notice no damping. There's no y prime term. OK, so here is the solution, famous, famous solution. And y prime, it will be c1, I guess the derivative of the cosine is minus omega times sine omega t plus c2, the derivative of that is omega cos omega t. So those are the, that's the y and y prime. So for every t, it's going to be an easy figure. Here's y. Here's y prime. And, and that's the phase plane, phase plane. So at each time t, I, I have a y and a y prime, and it gives me a point. So let me put it in there. More as time moves on, that point moves. And it's the picture in the phase plane, the orbit, sometimes you could say. It's kind of like a planet or a moon. 
Uh, so the, for that, what is the orbit for that one? Well, it goes around in an ellipse. It would be a circle with, let me, let me draw it. This is the case omega equal one. In that case, in that most famous case, we simply go around a circle. There's y, there's y prime. We have cosine and sine and cos squared plus sine squared is one squared. And we're going around a circle of radius one or another circle depending on the initial condition. Here, there's a factor omega giving an extra push to y prime. So if omega was two, for example, then we'd have a two in y prime from the omega, which is not in the y. And that would make y prime a little larger, and it would be twice as, it would go up to twice as, that's meant to be, meant to be an ellipse with height two up there, or in general, omega and one there. So in the y direction, there's no factor omega, and we just have cosine and sine. And that would be a typical picture in the phase plane. But if we started with smaller initial conditions, we would travel on another ellipse. But the point is, and these are called, this picture is called a center. So that's one of the six possibilities, and in some way, kind of the most beautiful. You get, you get ellipses in the phase plane. They close off because the, the, the solution just repeats itself every period. It's periodic. Y is periodic. Y prime is periodic. They come around again and again and again. No energy is lost. Conservation of energy, perfection. And I would say neutrally stable, neutral stability. The solution doesn't go into zero because there's no damping. It doesn't go out to infinity because there's constant energy. And that's the picture in the phase plane. OK, so that's the center. And now I'll draw one with a source or a sink. Uh, I just have to change the sign on damping to get source or sink. So let me do that. So, so that, now I'm going to do a spiral source or sink. This is the unstable one going out to infinity. This is the stable one coming into zero. And let, let me do y double prime plus or maybe minus 4y prime plus 4y equals 0. Suppose I take that equation. Then I have s squared plus 4s. Oh, maybe, maybe 2 is a nicer number. 2 is nicer than 4. Yeah, let me change this to a 2 and a 2. Yeah, and so I have s squared plus 2s plus 2, or minus 2s plus 2 equals 0. So th those are my, those are my uh, positive damping would be with a plus. So with a plus sign, the roots are s squared plus 2s plus 2. The roots are 1, or rather minus 1, plus or minus i. I'm a plus, I'm a plus sign, and then the minus sign with a minus 2. Now the roots have a plus, plus or minus i. Everything's depending on these roots, these exponents, which are the solutions of the special characteristic equation, the simple quadratic equation. And you see that depending on positive damping or negative damping, I get stability or instability. And let me draw a picture. I don't know if I can try two pictures in the same thing. Probably not. That wouldn't be smart. So what's happening then? Let's take this one. 
So the so solution y is e to the minus t, that's what's making it stable, coming into zero, times, and from here we have a, a c1 cos t and a c2 sine t. That's what we get from the usual, as in the case of a center, that's, that, that carries us around the circle. So what, what's happening in this picture, in this phase plane? Here's the phase plane again, y and y prime. Without the minus one, we have a center. We just go around in a circle. But now because of the minus one, which, which is the factor e to the minus t in the solution, as we go around, we come in. And the word for that curve is a spiral. So we have a, we have a, this would be the center. Going around in a circle. But now, suppose we start here. Suppose we start at y, at y equal one and y prime equals zero. Start there at time zero. Let time go. Plot, where do we go? Where does this where does this y and the y prime, where's the point, y, y prime? Okay, I'm starting it at, uh, so I'm probably taking c1 as 1 and c2 as 0. So I'm starting it right there, and then I'll travel along, uh, depending on signs, uh, I, I would go, uh, I think probably this way, uh, so, so it'll travel on a, it comes in pretty fast, of course, because that exponential is a powerful guy, that, that e to the minus t. So this is the, this is the solution going, damping out to zero. That's with the plus sign, plus damping, which gives the minus sign in the, in the s, in the exponent. And then, so that is a spiral sink. Sink meaning just as water in a bathtub flows in, that's what happens. Now what happens in a spiral source? That's what we have with the minus sign. Now we have a one, now we have an e to the plus t, everything's growing. So instead of decaying, we're going around, but grow, okay. I'm off the board, way off the board, uh, in, in, with that spiral, which is going to keep going around but explode out to infinity. So those are the three possibilities for complex roots, centers, spiral source, and spiral sink. For real roots, we had ordinary source and ordinary sink, no spiral. And then the, the other possibility was a saddle point where almost surely we go out, but there was one direction that came into the saddle point. Okay, those six pictures are going to control the whole problem of stability, which is our next subject. Thank you.